Good afternoon. My name is Todd Sievert. I am chairman of the Finance Committee. To my right is Councilwoman Westfall. To my left is Councilman Schilling. We are here today to discuss the uh, bidding for the recycling program uh, through Rumpke, and I assume uh, City and Service Director Mr. Tiddington will address that for us. So the, uh, the existing <coughs> contract with Rumpke will expire uh, during May of this year. Uh, it was put into the budget uh, uh, anticipating that we might see a uh, significant increase over uh, the current contract amount of 425000 uh, we've had additional stops and addresses added to uh, uh, to the to the contract, as well as um, just uh, polling uh, neighboring communities uh, that recycling, outsourcing the recycling is uh, uh, is, is and bidding it out uh, has been higher than what we had originally expected. Uh, we are asking only for the amount that's in the budget. Um, I am asking, we didn't include this in the, uh, uh, the memo, but I am asking that the council consider emergency legislation because we're talking about uh, the middle of May. Uh, I know I recognize that it is last minute, but it took us a while to get to the council because we did do an analysis of the cost and whether it would be more cost effective to bring the service in-house. Uh, however, with the additional staff and operating costs and the uh, uh, the equipment, particularly the vehicles that we would need to start this up, uh, this is still uh, much more competitive. Uh, we haven't had any uh, complaints. I mean, you get some every once in a while about missed stops, uh, but uh, Rumkey has been doing a, a, a good, an excellent job for us uh, for it's been at least five years. I think it's been a lot longer mm -hmm. than that. Um, not that they're exclusive, uh, this would be bid, sealed bids, so uh, there are several potential vendors out there. Okay. So the, the termination, uh, were there any extensions on the prior contract? There were. Uh, so we so we're... Two one years? Yeah. Okay, so we're so out. We're maxed out. on... Uh, we're maxed on extension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Schilling, any questions? Well, I, got, I got a couple. So, okay, so we're looking for... I said you had a couple of numbers there. The, what, we, what you told us, you're looking for 535, as far as a um, an amount that um, that we're hoping to get a bid on at that at that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're right now we're at a level of like four, a little over 400,000. Uh, about 425. 425. Okay, and then um, I mean you you hear in the news and this type of thing on the recycling, most of it ends up in the Pacific Ocean or something. I mean. What is right? I mean, have we ever looked to see what Rumpke or anybody else does with the recycling that they get from us? Um, I have not tracked a truck and where they've ended up. I will full disclosure, <laughs> but um, we do know that it goes through the transfer station, and they do have contracts out, uh, and that's why we have a specific list and a sticker that's on the toter that says this is what you can put in here and this is what you can't. Okay. Um, I know that uh, Rumpke has been. Uh, pl very pleased with the level of participation that Troy has has had. I won't say always, but almost always. Um, and uh, and so they've not had any complaints about about our program. But again, I've not heard that it about the recycling ending up in the Pacific Ocean. I maybe that's e uh, east or west coast. But uh, again, we've. We've been very pleased with with our arrangement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, to Mr. Schilling's point, there were, I don't, it might have been the when we did the contract last time, but it might be wise to have at least some um, notice go out. Because I know, like, you can't have it in bags anymore. You have to put the recycling loose leaf into the containers. And um, that might have been a rotary. But somebody came and gave an a in-depth conversation about, the changes that have occurred in recycling and yeah that's that's been uh, at least two years now um, and uh, we do send reminders every once in a while the the biggest no-no is um, is bagging it in plastic bags um, you know it uh, whether it ended up in the Pacific Ocean I, I 
what I had heard at one point, um, and I think was verified on the national news, is that uh, recycling was being shipped over to China for a long time. Uh, they have cut way back on uh, on their acceptance of recycling materials, which is where, what altered, what helped alter the materials that could actually be put in the uh, recycling toter. Uh, but the, the 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 largest issue, uh, and we have beat that drum quite a bit, is the plastic bags because it does tangle up the uh, the separating the machines, apparently, yeah. yeah. And um, there's no, I, like you, and just to validate to anyone who watches this and to Steve, uh, this will be an open bid process. It is not just Rumpke, although uh, we reference Rumpke in here, but that's because they're the they're who bid last. Yeah, time. I would not it's, use the word open bid. It is a formal sealed bid that is offered and advertised to anybody who wants to do the recycling. Uh, to do it, yeah. I mean, it's it's not open because nobody gets to see the bid until uh, okay. noon on whatever particular day, and then everything is open at the same time. That way nobody has an advantage. But by open, I mean other people it's open can participate. It's open to anyone. Correct. So, okay. Uh, Ms. Swesswell, do you have any questions? The only question I have is uh, approximately how many more places is it stopping because you said that there was an increase in number yeah um, well uh, we've been averaging maybe 75 uh, over the last five years 75 to 100 new homes built per and it year. is a residential yes every year uh, we may accelerate that a little bit as we've uh, if come out we may not because of the mortgage rates uh, but we certainly have several hundred uh, lots platted to be built, and we've had steady, steady business. So, yeah, so as long as it's a city of Troy location, they'll cover residents. Yes. Okay, residents. Okay. Okay. Anybody on council have any further comments or questions? Just a comment, Mr. Phillips. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, this goes back to 2018 when China cut back and, and actually cut off recycling or accepting plastic and some other materials from the United States. So each year they have done some different things, but it's been significantly curtailed since at least 2018. China. 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 Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Anyone in the audience have any comments? <laughs> Hearing none, how do you wish to proceed, Ms. Muswell? Recommend we move forward. Okay. With Mr. Emergency. Schilling? Yeah, move oh. forward, and I think we need emergency, emergency on that one. And so uh, the committee unanimously approves that we move forward and that we add emergency legislation to the uh, language to the uh, ordinance. Right. Very good. Resolution. Okay.